Hi, I'm here at the 2011 ICOSI conference in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm here with Magdi, who is an associate professor of civil engineering at uh, North Dakota State University, and he's going to talk a little bit about his sustainability research, so go ahead. Hi. Um, the the poster is related to few research projects that are uh, uh, completed or still under uh, uh, progress. Uh, it's about how to integrate the sustainability concepts into civil engineering programs, how to train students, how to put concepts, how to change design, and some of those aspects. Basically, three major or three main components offer you the challenges that uh, will face uh, us trying to integrate the infrastructure sustainability component concepts uh, in research and academia, and then the strategies, what, what we will do in here, um, the, uh, what can be done, what components need to be included, and also the academic actions to that. The uh, third part is the teaching and education activities. What are, are my uh, activities into integrating the infrastructure sustainability into the different courses? For example, we talk about life cycle cost analysis for recycled material also. This graph, this small graph, um, if we want to decide about the quality of material to use versus the cost, uh, if we use low quality or under design, for example, our initial cost will be low, but future cost will be high. And as we increase the quality of the design, our initial cost will be high, but the future cost will be low. Well, it is not good to under design or over design. We need to look at the total cost. So, uh, uh, putting low quality or over design, meaning putting too much quality is not the right solution. The right solution is to optimize as we optimize total cost, including initial cost and future cost. Um, those are some examples of those. Of, this, of sustainability if we're using some recycled materials in pavement application, for example, using some material to uh, absorb the crack effects or using recycled aggregate uh, as base material in the pavement. And other activities including some of the seminars and outreach activities. But overall, uh, this is my view on how to integrate the sustainability concept actions into a civil engineering program. Thank you.